Welcome back. Thank you for hanging on there through the break. Breaks have been long today. That one was normal. The other two were, were much longer. Appreciate the patience. It'll probably be like that while my mother's visiting here. It's nice to be able to say hi. She's actually out exploring the neighborhood now. Right, this was a normal break because I did not stop to chat with her. The dogs are good and I'm good and the game is awesome. So welcome back everyone. I think we're live and back. We're gonna go a little bit further. Manny tells me we're about a third of the way through the game. Got quite a ways to go. Got plenty of time tomorrow and a little bit more time today. The gods of illusion and fire. Well, we have defeated them. Nua still won't look at the camera. You age forever. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. I may have missed some before, too. Especially nice for this game not, not to have them popping on screen, but, I, but I'm sorry for the ones I'm missing. Thank you for the follow. 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Correct, Manny. That, that is correct. I, if I thought we needed more than six hours tomorrow, I would think about starting early. A little tempting to start early anyways. Just, just to wrap early. But, um, no, we've got a good window right now. So, yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. That's what the schedule says. I think we're going to stick with it. KG, good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the visions bite. Missed cert. You did. Click. Pen click right before the break. Right before the break. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's down. Oh, we're opening the gate. Till tomorrow, then. Um, are you off? It's so dark. It's dark. It's dark. We're going a little I'm further tonight. The dead may cross. No one here but me. Thank you for the follow. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. they came through stormy black seas they raided these shores do you still hear his screams and now that you're home he's so far away they've taken his soul These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. 
In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. still beats a heart. Still scary, Novo. Even then. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Thank you for that. 
every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Not too bad, huh? We get up here? Too shabby, huh? Something. So unique. Yeah. Hey, Nate. Thank you again. Have a good time at the in-laws. Good dinner. Cheers to you in the blast zone. Great weekend. Wish me luck. Again, let me throw another streamer command here. Chat. Nate face. And the blast zone. Await your follow. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours.
finally see a burrito. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Don't say no, say yes. Say yes. Empiro Pedro. Thank you. Follow, welcome. Patterns are strange things. Once you start to see patterns in any form, they, of course, become a bit easier to see again. Part of why patterns are so titillating and part of why patterns, once we get used to them, are, are why we get bored. Our brains love them. Finding patterns, seeing patterns, matching patterns, becoming acquainted with them, and eventually getting tired of them. But um, the patterns are well hidden, that you know they're there, and you feel like you can grasp them, but, but you don't right away. Ah, they tickle so good. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Huh. So you're asking about an indicator for your progress in the game. Just look at those wheels. Okay. I'll ponder that. I saw what was what was lit, or what was lit differently. But um, hmm. Yeah, that was that was good. That's good for now. I think I don't need to be out here. I'm gonna wander out to the edge of the ship if I can. See what's there. Those are the runes we've collected. Ah, is that where they are? I didn't make the connection between any of the specific runes on the wheel and the ones we just got, or any of the ones we've gotten today. I'm gonna look next time. Can I go back? I can look at it again. They're lit even before we focus on it. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, Not you may find the it the runes we've collected. Giantess. She Not will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into I mean, fire and rode to hell to join the slain love Sigurd. Maybe? And is challenged by the giantess. They're not all lit. There are ones we've collected that don't appear to be lit there. And there may be some lit there that aren't runes we've collected. But some of the ones which are lit there are runes we've collected. I know we tried this door. I am going to try it again here. We 
won't try it. Went down onto the ship. Yeah, if I get stuck a few minutes in, in a room or two, I'll, I'll ask, but uh, I'm not quite there yet. Is that shimmering? Something shimmering in the air. Can't walk out on it. Focusing on it doesn't simply change it. We're not seeing other runes in the air here, not right here. There were a couple doors I couldn't open, so that other one I couldn't open. This one she'll try, but it doesn't open right now. We'll keep the other rooms before we can open that one. Go back down onto the ship. plays and hickey hickey that may or may not be completely wrong thank you for the follow welcome there's something out here I can hear it I can feel it in my bones electricity in the air. <laughs> but there are not runes in the air. Feel the electricity in the air. But not down here. It's up by the mast. Sound is pretty generic. Sounds like the cube in the antechamber that floats around. So maybe it's nothing. Quite seem like nothing. Maybe it's nothing. Can't open the door. Can't open the door. Fire. sound kind of like fast forwarding a tape. Didn't mean generic for the purposes of figuring out a puzzle. Um, oh, like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't give up on listening to it. Well, it seems to be popping up in a few places. I can hear it here as well. Now, there's no runes in the air, so I don't think there's anything to match quite this second. We got the X out of that. There's other symbols here. We've had no no runes in the air. Maybe I shouldn't be so rigid. Maybe we can match these symbols without first seeing runes. Uh, probably not. Maybe. Don't see anything special looking at this door. Focusing on the door and she still won't try to open it. get one of those symbols. Maybe we could get all the symbols out of this thing. She'd have to be on the upper level. Thinking of the, the 
two legs. We could somehow get up. I bet we could see. So how could we get up there? There are these stairs, and then there's this... There, There's this stuff in the air. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't seem to climb on it, walk out on it. There's a way to, to bring these stairs back. How do we do that? This isn't the land of illusion. I haven't seen any portals. Okay, not everything can be a vague hint, Manny, and I, and I may need one. I think we're supposed to go up. Uh, it's, you know, some, some things seem obvious, but there's a missing missing piece. We need to go up there. If we get up there, we'll probably see runes and be able to use these symbols in the middle of the room that are hanging to, to match it up. And this seems to be a part of it, too. Maybe what's on the ship. Maybe something with the mast on the ship as well. You can hear it. You can kind of feel it. I can't seem to interact with it. So, you know, I I should I should let you, I should let you give me a good clue, or or just you know point me in the right direction. Whatever, whatever we need. Take one more pass at it here. Parts of it seem to make such sense already. We come over here. Asked. There's. Oh, hold on. If we look at it the right way, we can see the stairs complete. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> cool. Put the stairs back together. I didn't know we could do that. I didn't know we had that power! It makes sense. It makes sense. Again, patterns. So now I see we got we got the little little sparkle over there, over here. Put them together. It's similar to other puzzles, needing to find pieces of the environment that you want to line up just the right way. But it was different enough from the previous puzzles that <sighs> building stairs with your mind. Yeah. <laughs> Ethereum. Hey. Okay. Make some letters. I think we need to be on the other side for one of them. Yes. the other one first. Oh, there it is. So. Can't everyone do that? Turned away because he didn't see it, but the stairs were almost complete then too. I sure didn't see it. Didn't see it. He did a good job keeping quiet again. M most impressive. Now this one, I could tell was going to be there from downstairs. I just couldn't figure out how I was going to get up here. All right. I'm looking at foreground, background, yeah, wherever you're focused. One of my skills, if you want to look at it that way, or one of my limitations, if you want to look at it that way. I apply it to many things in life, but I, I, I think it's focused on computer science, working with computers. I need to tune a lot of stuff out in order to focus on what what I need to pay attention to, whether it's for me or to, to solve someone else's problem. So I tune a lot of stuff out. I intentionally put blinders on. I've trained myself 
to put blinders on and tune things out. It doesn't mean I'm focusing on the right thing. Tunnel vision is a powerful tool or a powerful limitation. When you focus on the right thing, Mother's head? I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't watch this. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Ah, the half corrupted. Not her mother. Keyboard down. Stormy seas and lost souls. Good. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. There. <laughs> Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer? That we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. A song. It's a song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. Listen, Dilly. She can't Dilly. give up. Dilly. Dilly. It's not real. Like this. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in 
come to me. Please. to go to him. Tempting to go down this way. What if it's a trick? Doing it quite a lot. But we'll... very first thunder crack in this game I was aware of really got me I, I wasn't sure it was in game Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. Way off in the distance.
there he was. The lone figure of a boy. He's there. Under the tree. Saw play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt. A ray of hope. hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day Odin comes. The Northmen tell of a great hero. Oh, sorry. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Starting to get that sense I had let go looked around a little bit wasn't quite sure of what the limitations were it's good to know continue listening while looking around if you want at times there is a range it was the first one I actually somehow reset in the middle of playback though a little surprising I like looking at the wheel when listening I was looking at it saw it had we had picked up a few more Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Message coming in. Well, Patch that through. night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Are you gonna tell me? I wanna know what happens. And you never guess. Guesses. Spartan lady, thank you for the host. He had me. He had me. I wanted to know. <laughs> you get nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> Her limping doesn't work as well when she's able to jog. If I hadn't jogged in the first place, it would have worked. If we can jog, we're not gonna...
can't uh, she can't crane her neck any higher. Serpents wrapped around the people? It's the minds of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter. Voices in my head have nothing clever to say. Too much. It's too loud. What's Norse for friend? <clears throat> find another way. over there we could have come straight down go up on this oh but we can oh but we can Can find a siren, do I get a gold star? As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. Bit the wolf's tongue. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister, plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. to be continued. <laughs> we 
even though I got hung up on that door for a minute, we were making our way towards the tree. Was that a glimpse of Dillian? on the game. Rage, mage. Rage, mage. Okay, man. Good to see you. I am, uh, my first single word description was mesmerized, and I stand by it. I've been mesmerized by this game from the beginning. I know, I know we need to be going the other way. I'm just looking around. Mesmerized by this game. It's quite good. How are you doing? It's a journey. It's one of those. It's a journey. This game takes you on a journey. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, affecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. I've been inside this arm all along. journey to looking at the camera, but she's looking up. Just like he does. Beautiful. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me. 
You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell them. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. Maybe we have to go around the tree, see if we can go up somewhere up there first. Hey, she must be Geralt's cousin too. She's very rock challenged. It's it's about yay big. She cannot step up it. That she really wants to, and then then she will. have to go around the tree get up there something's probably over there she can't waste her energy on stepping up eight inch rocks yeah, she's got to save it for them 
Bam. Kapow. Wham. I like that they put melee in there. Her kicks. Her low blows. Opening up attacks. I like it a lot. Bloodwind. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. You need those kicks? Yeah, you do. There you go. Light on the waves. Can we just hang here? Can we pitch camp? We just stay for a while. one of those painful questions to ask. We need to wrap soon. Should we save even the first of these shards for tomorrow? Piggybacked on that question. I think we're good for six hours tomorrow. Did I? You saw the pace we went at today. I got a little hung up in places. We need more than six tomorrow? I'm gonna say yes. This this has been brilliant. I, I, I've loved this today. Very good. I hope you've all had a very good time today. Thank you for helping me sort out when, um, when we should move on and, and stop. I'm glad we went on. Six will do. It's a good break point. Most excellent. Thank you all. Here's another good one. Schedule says what's up. If you want to see the schedule in your time zone, it's coming up there. Stream announcements, Twitter, archives, highlights on YouTube. Me too, Rage. I, you and, and everyone I'm hearing from who've played this game just has already found a very special place for it. It's... 
just won't look, won't you? Won't look. Very special place already. So, uh, let's, we should drop in on someone. Thank you to the Nade Face for the most excellent host with the Blast Zone dropping in. The front lines and, oh man, infantry, everything. Thank you to everyone who's new here. Welcome aboard the Starship. I hope you'll come back and join us. Many more adventures. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Things are a little, a little weird for me right now. Uh, my mother is here and Tropic Mom is in town. We're gonna go get some dinner going on. Who knows, maybe we'll take the dogs out again. She's even checking out a house. She may move. She may move to Colorado. Stay here with me. Hey, thank you all so much for being here. I'm gonna put us on the sign off screen and find us someone to drop in on. Try and share the love. Thank you to everyone for the hosts, for the follows, for the subs, for the generosity, and for being here most of all. Good night, all. I'll see you on the other side. Peace out. That's how you said it. Wombat, hug everyone. You said it too. Hugs all around. Big hugs all around. Hey, look, I found my hotkeys. Big hugs for everyone. And I'll see you on the other side. Good night. Figure I can quit and it'll be safe approximately here. Figure that out. <laughs>